You log into Near Me from your web browser at nhs.attendanywhere.com. Most staff will have been given a service provider role for a single waiting area. If that's the case for you, you will be taken directly to that waiting area where you'll see your call queue if there are callers waiting. We encourage all users to test their equipment before attempting to join calls. When you have a caller in your call queue, you have a few options. The most used are join call and message. Click message to send an on-screen message to your caller. Your call queue will be updated as other callers join your waiting area. There are other tasks that can be undertaken from your waiting area. These include sending text or email invitations to callers. You can also initiate consult now calls. They are an ideal way to escalate from a telephone call to a video one, or for sending callers who may be experiencing problems when trying to type your waiting area's web link into the browser. We cover consult now in a separate video. One thing worth remembering while in a call is that corporate PCs often have a very short inactivity period before their screens lock. Wiggling your mouse while in a call should stop this occurring. To start your video consultation, click Join Call. When you join the call, you'll see the caller's name at the bottom left of the screen. You'll also see a self view from your own camera to the right. Simple controls for managing the call are at the bottom of your screen. Your callers have very similar ones. You can mute your microphone or camera, send on-screen messages, share your screen with your callers, or invite others into the call. If desired, you can change your camera, microphone, and speakers while in a call. Should you wish to share content with your caller, you can do so easily. If possible, we recommend all content is shared from within existing browser tabs. Audio from those tabs can be shared too. You can also share other windows or even your entire screen. If sharing your whole screen, you should ensure there's absolutely nothing visible you would not want your caller to see. The chat button allows you to send on-screen messages to your caller. Should you wish to invite others into your call, such as a colleague, translator, or member of the caller's family, one easy method of doing so is by email or text. The links generated are unique and can only be used for joining your ongoing call. There are two options when you wish to leave a call. You can leave the call yourself, but leave the caller to be seen by another service provider or you can choose to end the call completely. When you end the call, you will normally be taken back to your waiting area, although there are options for a service or org admin to change the landing page.